Today I want to talk to you about trying to plan a long lens telephoto shot for landscape photography to take you through the different things you need to think about before you get out there with your 100 to 400 or 70 to 200 whichever you might have to try and execute a long lens landscape photography shot. The first thing that you need to think about for your long lens landscape photography shots is inspiration. And you might think, well, come on, inspiration, what's this all about? Well, they're not as easy as you might think. A lot of the times with landscape photography, most people will be headed towards something like a, a 24-70, maybe a 16-35, if they have strong foreground interest. But a long lens shot, there's a lot more that goes into it. You've got to be thinking how much have I got to cut out of the image? And you be, should be thinking about that anyway. But long lens landscape photography, you're going really into your subject. And so inspiration to get out there and go, well, is there a long lens shot there or not? Sometimes, and I've done this before, you might have a wide angle shot. You look at the wide angle shot and you think, actually, if I crop in, maybe I could get something very, very different. A long time ago, I did a very cropped image of the beach near to Durdle Door in Dorset and I found it because I remember looking at a previous image and went I think there's actually something there just by really cropping in instead of concentrating on Durdle Door and Bat's Head doing a wide angle shot concentrated a lot more closely on the scene and got something very different and it ended up selling for actually for quite a lot of money from what I remember so it really just depends on what it is you want from your shots but do be inspired before you go out. Do think very, very carefully what it is that you want to do with your long lens landscape photography because it's not just a case of putting on a wide angle. We are going right in close to the landscape and really concentrating ourselves on the subject in front of us. Planning your landscape photography shot, your long lens telephoto shot, the subject that you want to look at is crucial to the success of what it is that you want to do. I'm wondering personally if my planning this morning is actually going to come to any success or not. Why? Because there's a bank of cloud that's actually sat to the northeast behind my subject of Salisbury Cathedral. Over there is the sunrise. Now looking at photo pills it says that from my position here that the sun will come over the hill to my right around nine o'clock so in about 20 minutes time although maybe it might be a little bit sooner because you have to adjust photo pills at times just to actually calibrate the sun with actually the position of where the sun is but where the cathedral is in the center of the city i know from previous experience that the sun will hit that cathedral in the morning a lot earlier than it's suggesting right now so in this position here, the sun will clear the hill there. But when I'm looking at the cathedral down there, basically you have the cathedral here and there's like a hill that circumnavigates the southern side of Salisbury. But there's a gap and through that gap, the sun will come at some point. But it's not just the sunrise, sunset times, the, the angles of the sun that you need to be thinking about. The, posi the actual position that I'm in right now Unless you're a local, there's nowhere really to park from what I remember to actually get up here. And so you're going to have to think, well, if I have to walk from the centre of Salisbury, how long is it going to take to get from the middle of Salisbury to here? Well, you're probably looking a good hour or so from the centre of Salisbury if you were to park in the centre of Salisbury to come here. So you've got to factor in things like that. How long is it going to take you to walk here? Also think about other barriers to entry barriers is there going to be anything that's going to stop you from getting to where your subject is from where you want to photograph your subject from to get to where it is you've got to think about these things is there going to be any gates or anything like that luckily here there is actually nothing to stop me getting to this particular place and so I'm lucky that my father lives only half an hour's walk from here I don't have a car at the moment here in the United Kingdom to park to try and get up here I can just walk from my father's place. Local knowledge will go into it as well. So think very carefully, plan very carefully 
what it is you want to do with your long lens landscape photography before you even get out there. Can you get out there? How long is it going to take you? Are there any barriers to entry? Stuff like this before you even get there. Just think very carefully. Really think about the direction of the light when you are planning your long lens landscape photography. I mentioned it in the previous segment, but let's talk, really talk about it. So right now it's approximately quarter to nine in the morning. It's, the, it's early January. The subject that I want is Salisbury Cathedral. I'm looking from a southwesterly position, looking towards the northeast. What I really would like is some side light from the southeast the sun is there at the moment. It's just starting to come up above the clouds. What I would really like, what I'm really hoping this morning, is that the cloud starts to dissipate a little and then the sun comes up and then it is high enough to beam a light down onto Salisbury Cathedral and illuminate it. Now behind the cathedral is a bank of cloud that sat on the horizon to the northeast. Is that a problem? Honestly, for me, it's not really a problem. What I really want in my images is some really nice side lighting to give the images dimension. If I can get that, for me, that's a lot more crucial than, than the cloud that's in the sky. Sometimes you can have really nice dark clouds behind your subject, but if you've got a light beaming onto it, it will then illuminate the subject and then give your images real dimension. That's what I'm hoping for this morning. Will it happen? I don't know. One of the other things that I've done is I know this particular location will work pretty much any time of year with the direction of the light. But what I'm hoping to do, and I don't know if I can do this or not, with the amount of time that I've got left in Salisbury, is get this in the afternoon. Now, because I'm up on a hill, sunrise, sunset sorry, is about four o'clock, something like that, quarter past four in the afternoon. I think it is somewhere at this time of year. The sun will go down in that direction around three o'clock or so, the sun will disappear behind the hill. So I look at photo pills and at two o'clock is probably a good idea to be here at 2, 2 p.m. in the afternoon to get the sun from the southwest illuminating down onto the west front of the cathedral. So really do think about the direction of the light in your images. It will really help you get images that are a lot more striking and a lot more dimensional as well. It seems obvious, but the weather is going to play an enormous effect on what it is that you want to do with your long lens telephoto landscape photography. This morning I got up at 6.30, I looked at my weather app clear outside and it said by nine o'clock that the cloud should start to dissipate. It is kind of dissipating. Will it do what I want it to do? I don't know. The sun right now is battling against a bank of cloud on the horizon to the southeast. Hopefully it will come up and hopefully it will do what I want it to do and, and the actual final image that I want to show you from this vlog will actually be a successful image. Just fingers crossed, if I can get them crossed, it's quite cold at the moment. So it's not just, for example, the weather though, the overall weather that you need to think about with your long lens photography is also the wind. Wind plays an enormous factor in long lens landscape photography because if even if you've got your camera on a tripod, the wind, if it's buffeting that camera, you're not going to be able to get away with the really nice short exposures that you, you're likely to be able to get away with on a wide angle lens. With a long lens, you're going to be battling against exposure times and thinking, well, is this or isn't it going to work? Because the wind can be buffeting the, the camera and the lens and so therefore you're inevitably going to have camera shake which then leads me into the next subject. The next thing that you need to think about for your long lens landscape photography is the exposure times. There's an old saying that basically goes if you're working at 200 millimeters you should be at least using an exposure time of one two hundredth of a second. Not always though, sometimes you're going to have to be working a lot quicker than that. It really depends on the conditions that you've got. This morning, yes, there is a cold northeasterly wind blowing across Salisbury, but it's 
just gusts every so often. It's not a constant gust of wind. And so I am able to get shutter speeds that are a lot longer than the focal length that I'm using. I'm on something around 300 or so millimeter from the position that I am looking down towards the cathedral. So do you think about your exposure times when you are doing your long lens landscape photography? Now, one of the things you could do, and I don't have one of these, but uh, it's something I've certainly thought about at times, is you can get long lens supports for your telephoto lenses. Do they make a difference? They absolutely make a difference. I remember being with a friend of mine in Tuscany. I didn't have a long lens support, he did. He showed me the back of his camera on Live View. The difference that he had with his camera against mine was incredible. And so it enabled him to get a lot longer shutter speeds than I was getting with my camera. I had to up the ISO, he didn't. So do you think about the overall equipment as well as the exposure time when you're doing your long lens telephoto shots. The last thing that I want to talk about is focusing. Where is it that I focus when it comes to my long lens shots? Well, what I do is I get my subject framed up on my camera, I turn on live view, and then I just basically focus on or use the focusing points within the camera to focus on my subject that I want to be in focus for my long lens shot. So in this particular case, I'm actually cutting out lots of stuff in the surrounding area and just really, really focusing down onto the cathedral and then just basically tap on the back of my camera say that's where I want my focus there it then focuses I take my shot and then I, I immediately review the shot afterwards I'm a lot lot more careful well I'm careful with every shot that I take but I'm a lot more careful with long lens shots just because there's so much more that can go wrong with a long lens telephoto shot that I have right now than if I was trying to do a wide angle shot there you go, there's six tips to sort of help you and aid you in your long lens landscape photography. It's not always as simple as you might think trying to do this. Even for me this morning, I've come out and thinking that should be quite a good shot to do this morning. The, the weather is right, there's not any rain or anything like that. It's just going to be a bit nippy. It is very nippy actually with a northeasterly wind coming across the city at the moment. My own planning, unfortunately, I'm looking that way. The cloud should have gone by now. It hasn't. I'm having to have patience, which I'm always talking to you all about having patience, is that there is a bank of cloud that is just hiding the sun at the moment. About 10 minutes ago to the northwest, actually, the sun was really nicely illuminating the landscape. That doesn't interest me over there. There's nothing really to look at over that way. I can see even as I turn now, there is the sun illuminating the landscape over there, but sadly it's not illuminating the landscape to the northeast that I want. So although the sun's in the southeast, I'm looking in a northeasterly direction. Hopefully though, it won't take too long. I say that, please, and it then will illuminate the subject I want. If it doesn't know, I'll still take a shot and I'll still show you what it is that I've got, but it will be very flat and very lifeless. Not really the type of photography that I want to show you, not really what it is that I like to do. I would prefer to show you how it ideally should be. But in any case, I hope you've got a, an idea of what it is that I think about when I'm trying to do my long lens landscape photography shots, such as here in Salisbury. Until the next time, see you. Should actually now be back in France sometime somewhere in France. See you next time folks. Bye.